All right, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back. I'm very excited this morning because uh, uh, a while ago I had found somebody on Instagram who had been selling some amazing uh, hockey card, baseball card mystery packs. Mystery packs have become such a bizarre thing in our lifestyle that, uh, I don't know, people can kind of be stingy with their money. It's just a weird concept to be paying money for something that you don't know what you're getting in return. Like, here's 20 or here's $30 for something that I don't know what I'm getting back. Could be something you don't like at all, but you're just paying for the uh, for the guessing game. Like, who knows what you're getting? So, I don't know. Sometimes mystery packs and mystery bags and stuff like that aren't for me. Because, for the most part, it's usually garbage or useless stuff that you don't want or just a big disappointment. But this person uh, on Instagram, SK Leafs, I bought mystery packs from him before. He's an awesome guy, and every time I have bought these, they have been absolutely loaded. So I'm wondering if these new ones, it's been a long time since I picked these up, if these live up to the expectation. I'm sure they will. Are these going to be as good as I remember them to be? So I'm going to quickly rip open to this package off camera here, and we'll get this all kind of set up. Uh, the reason I did buy this is I saw he was posting some stuff on there and I picked up a card for myself and I picked up a card to send to Julie Farnham. I won't show the card that I picked up for Julie. We'll let that be a surprise. But uh, I'm going to quickly rip into this package off camera here and we will get this all set up. All right, so we're all opened up here. I got this all set aside. So I'm going to show you the card that I bought for my collection here. He had posted this online and I reached out to him. I got a pretty great deal on this one, I won't lie to you. Uh, I got a great deal on all of this, actually. But uh, So here's the first card I bought for myself. So we got this beautiful Adrian Kempe patch auto, numbered out of 49. This is a beautiful card. Super, super thick. Really nice patch right there. It kind of looks like it's three color, like it's got a little tiny little bit of white underneath the silver there. So, uh, beautiful. Out of SPX, we got a nice Adrian Kempe auto patch. That guy's got a gorgeous auto. A lot of players just do the little squiggle or the initials, but it's always nice when you get somebody who has some excellent penmanship like that. All right, it looks like we have two mystery packs separated here. I'm assuming one's hockey and one's baseball. So, you know what? We'll save the hockey one for the last. And right off the top here, I already see something good. This is what I'm talking about. Last time I bought these, they were just loaded with autographs. And it looks like we've got at least one here today. So we have a Hector Noacy out of Topps Chrome. A Hector Noacy uh, rookie auto out of Topps Chrome. I don't really remember Hector Noacy. I've heard the name before. But Blake Schnell auto, that's a big one. He's no, uh, he's no nobody. That's an awesome card right there. A Blake Schnell auto when he was back on the Rays. He's with the Padres right now, but uh, that is a beautiful card right there. All right, that one's going up in the back for now. We have Jose De Leon, Tyler Glass now rated rookie. We have a Chris Rowley rated rookie, or not rated rookie. That's just a rookie card. We have... Uh, Keston Hyura, rookie card, rookie debut. We have Ahmad Ro Rosario. Ahmad Rosario. Lots of rookie cards in here. This is beautiful. We have an AJ Pollock at a prism. We have Hanley Ramirez. That's a cool one there. Dolphin Stadium, 51 stolen bases from Hanley Ramirez. I guess that's just from the tops. Uh, first pitches, first pitch aces. First pitch aces. Chris Carpenter, back in the day. That guy was uh, an awesome prospect for the Blue Jays back in the day. It would have been really nice if they could have kept on to him. But it is what it is, right? We got Chris Bryant there on the Cubs. We have uh, Zuck. Zuck. TJ Zuck. TJ Zuck rookie card for the Blue Jays. It's nice to get some Blue Jays stuff in here. That's always nice. We have Wai Yan Chen. That one's numbered out of uh, 199. So we have a numbered card out of 199. And what is that? Uh, Jason Schmidt. That's a rookie, or not rookie, that's a relic. What do we got on there? Jersey relic, yep. 
So game used Jason Schmidt relic. That's real nice. That's what I'm talking about. Like I feel like that right there is probably worth twenty dollars alone. You got how many what two autos and a relic? Like that's that's pretty good. And we still have the whole second half of this to come here. So we got the hockey part today. And starting off the hockey one too, we have another auto. So look at this. We have Derek Roy. That guy was a beast back in the day. I remember that Sabres team that used to have Thomas Vanek and Daniel Briere and Ryan Miller. I always thought that team was going to win the cup. They had such a solid core group of players, but they just never got anywhere in the playoffs. They were so fast-paced and so offensively skilled, but uh, I don't know. That team just never did anything in the playoffs. So we got a Derek Roy auto. We have a Rook Chartier, a marquee rookie. We have a marquee rookie of Noah Hannafin now with the Calgary Flames. I really like Noah Hannafin. We have a JT Comfer, marquee rookie. We have Bob Nystrom, legendary collection. That's a nice looking card right there. We have a Dominic Cahoon marquee rookie. Victor Olofsson out of OPG Platinum. We have a Taro Hirose Young Guns. Always nice to get a Young Guns card. Philip Zadina. We have Craig Anderson Netcam. We have a Johnny Gaudreau UD Portraits. I don't believe I have that one there. What's that? His second year? Uh, 2017, 2018. I don't know. I think that's second year, maybe third year. I can't remember what year Gaudreau was a rookie now, actually. We got a Jimmy VC. I remember he was with the Leafs for a while there, but uh, I don't know where Jimmy VC is these days. Marcel Dion, that's a really nice looking card right there. I love the vintage looking stuff, and there's a nice Marcel Dion on the Kings. And then what is that? What is going on there? It looks like that's sticking off the card. I got to get a better look at this. I usually don't do this, but this is coming out of the top loader. What is happening here? Game used stick. But look how this is put together. Can anybody see this? It's literally just like a piece of stick glued to the top of a card. You have received a game used stick card from 2021 or 2001, 2002. Parkhurst on the front of this card is a game used stick by Rob Blake. While playing for the Colorado Avalanche. That is an amazing card. Like I absolutely love Rob Blake. But look at it. Look what. It just looks so bizarre. Why does it look like that? It's not even cut like. Evenly. Like if you can see. There's a big like. Splinter of the stick sticking off. Maybe I can get myself a game used authentic Rob Blake splinter. That'd be nice. That'd be something to carry around with you for all times, right? See that splinter right there? Yeah, Rob Blake used that in a hockey game once. Um, I don't know. That's bizarre. I'm Like I said, I am blown away with these mystery packs here. Um, I will reach out to him and see if he's all right with me posting the link to his Instagram. I don't know if he's going to keep selling these. I know he was doing it pretty, uh, pretty routinely a while ago, and he had kind of taken a break from it for the longest time. But uh, these are crazy. For $20, like, you're getting so much value here for $20. Like I said before, mystery packs are kind of not for me. But uh, when it's a safe bet like this and you know you're getting the value out of it, it's kind of a no-brainer, right? So big thank you again for sending me this, my friend. I always really appreciate these mystery packs. Gives me some fun content here on the channel. All right, and now we're going to get on with this spinach hunt here from Alan and Ginter. So let's see if we can find some sort of vegetable mini in here today. We have Blear, Nomar Garcia Para, we have Jose Barrios, and here we go. Nope, no spinach, no nothing good. We got Buster Posey. It is what it is. Rallying back though, we have the Humpback Whale. I actually didn't have this card. It's such a nice relief. It feels so good when I can come up here and open up a pack of Alan Ginter and get something that I don't have. So I'm trying to finish off like the uh, the mascots in real life set. This set, the rallying back, and um, the Mirad set, I've got a couple more cards I need. Same with the historical hits, I've got about five or six more of those I need. And then I'm essentially done just like the base, or sorry, the master set for Allen and Ginter, with the exception of the relics and the autos and stuff like that. But, we're almost there. We're almost at the end of this uh, master set journey. 
We're almost there, so who knows? Maybe when I'm done completing the master set from Alan Ginter, I'll do a video about it or something and kind of do a little bit of a showcase to show me putting it all together. But that is a nice one. And the last one we have is Lorenzo Kane. So we didn't get spinach today. But you know what? I'm very happy with this. I was not disappointed by any means with this mystery pack. Um, I don't know. These, these things are loaded here, so... I don't know how much this card's worth here, but I feel like we did pretty good here today for only spending $20 on this mystery pack. So, thanks everybody for checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day.